I'm Joe English with EM All Access, and we're here in San Francisco at the Experiential Marketing Summit. Today I talk with Vince Rubino from LEGO about how LEGO reaches lots of different demographics and different audiences through events. Let's listen in to the interview. Vince, thanks for joining us here at, uh, in San Francisco. My at, pleasure. Uh, you work for one of these tremendously iconic brands in LEGO. Everybody knows it. But I bet the first thing that people think of is to think, oh, you market to kids. Is, is, is that true? Who are, who are you marketing to, generally speaking? It, it, it's a good question. Do we market to kids? Absolutely, because they're the ones buying our product. Yeah. But it's the parents that have to buy that product. Yes. So as we're marketing to kids, we want to make sure we have a product that's engaging, that they enjoy. We also want parents to see the value in purchasing that product. It's educational, it's entertaining, uh, it's not a one and done toy. It doesn't just you know build it once and it's in the back of the closet. So we uh, want kids to like it and parents to like it. So we market to both. It's, it's fascinating when you start thinking about experience, experience marketing, how you talk to both generations. Right. Um, some of the like the unique experience you did recently with the X-wing fighter. Oh yeah. And if you could tell the tell people about what you did there, the giant X-wing fighter. Yeah. So uh, our Star Wars team had this crazy idea: what if we built a life-size X-wing fighter out of Lego bricks? Mm -hmm. And when we all stopped laughing, they said, "No, we're serious." And um, <laughs> then we saw the you know the reality of it. And, and it's it, it's really a culmination of a lot of things where it's a iconic sub-brand to us, you know, it's Lego Star Wars. Um, it relates well to parents and children. And um, in true Lego fashion, we wanted to create a, a true interactive experience uh, in Times Square. But additionally, it provides the ability to um, video content and extend it further. So uh, it's a combination of a lot of things we're doing with events. Yeah, and that is a trend that we see, this integration across making a great experience live, but then you want to share it, you want to create social media buzz. Exactly. I, I'm sure, I don't know what the numbers were on that, but I bet that was hugely viral. When, it was staggering, when, yes. When it first came yeah, out, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, and, that, and that's fantastic because, as everybody knows, if you can get something viral and um, get it social, it just extends the experience beyond the event site, beyond that footprint. Yeah. So uh, it worked out really well for us. So at the beginning of our conversation, I mentioned, you know, who's the client? Because as, a, as someone with a seven and a half year old son, okay. and when we walk into the Lego store or into a Lego event, they often ask, who's, who are we shopping for today? So I always think it's quite interesting. Yeah, well, we have so many different types of experiences with our brand and so many different kinds of customers that we want to focus on the individual, make sure we get the experience right for that individual. Mm -hmm. So if the child is the hero that day, we want to make the child that hero. Mm -hmm. If it's an adult fan coming in, um, we're going to craft a little bit of a different message and want to make the experience compelling for them. And, and there's so, a term, maybe people don't know, adult fan of Lego. <laughs> we, they are uh, self coined yes. AFOLs, yep. adult fans of Lego. And yes. they wear that badge very proudly. Yes, right? absolutely. So yeah. tell us about events that those people put on that maybe you're not involved in. Like in Portland, we have one called Bricks Cascade, Cascades. which doesn't seem to have a Lego brand presence. So how, how do you balance that? Do you want to be at those events or do you want to let that community It's a little bit of a double-edged sword. Yeah. We want it to be authentic, mm -hmm. that they are true fans, passionate, yeah. and expressing that without the big brand company overseeing it. Yeah. Um, so number one, you want to make sure that it is authentic and they are doing what they're passionate about. Mm -hmm. um, but we do support them. We have an event community team that works closely with the AFOL community globally mm -hmm. and uh, work to support them. So oftentimes we'll bring in um, executives from the organization to give speeches to them. Yeah. Um, we provide some collateral support material, but really it's the fans coming together to create that event out of the passion they have for our Lego. I mean, what a great place to be when people are embracing your brand on their own in yeah, such a way. Yeah, we're very fortunate. There's not many brands so that have that. Talk about how you use events to, to reach this audience, to stay relevant. Um, we talked about the X-Wing experience, right. but what other kinds of events are you doing and where do you show up in the market? Yeah, it's, it's different, uh, different locations. Pretty much Lego events have transitioned over the years. They've stayed pretty, pretty much the same. The, the formula that works with Lego models for photo ops, uh, play tables for that brand in hand experience. Um, at first we were a lot at retail and mobile marketing. 
Uh, now we're going into uh, fan-based conventions like Comic-Con, yeah. and we're expected to be there. The fans look for us now. Yeah. Um, we have our own proprietary event, Lego Kids Fest, mm -hmm. which goes to convention centers around the country. So, um, you know, we've done, we do some standalone and uh, our own footprint versus trying to engage in somebody else's footprint. So you mentioned Comic-Con. What about franchise or the, these franchise relationships that you have with Star Wars and uh, Harry Potter and things? How, how important has that been in the event space? Do you, well, do you go to it, those kind of events? We do. It opens us up to a wider audience. So yeah. Comic-Con is, you know, yeah. the pop culture yes. mecca. Yeah. Um, Star Wars Celebration recently in, in Anaheim. We were out there. and. Uh, <laughs> A key player there in the, in the Star Wars realm. So, you look at a lot of those different uh, IPs that we partner with, and they're looking at us to uh, stay relevant and bring younger kids into the fold. So it's interesting. Star Wars is an example. Yeah. What we're learning is a lot of dads are teaching their children about this first Star Wars movie through Lego Star Wars. Yes. Yeah. So um, yes, that happened in our household. It, it, okay. so, <laughs> well, so our first, we need right. to sit down and watch the movies, <laughs> yeah. Luke. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, my son so, actually is named Luke too. So we have a lot of oh, Luke. Okay. I am your father jokes ah, in my, my family. Well. Right. And yeah, it yeah, hasn't yeah. run out yet. No, it's still fresh. No. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the uh, our partnerships with the, with those companies are, are fantastic, and it works well for both of us. Yeah. Um, in the event space, we work with a lot of different professions. Who, who builds? Who do you go to to build? A giant X-Wing, things like that. Do you have a, a, sort of a, a stable of people that are artists in that space? Well, to build those models, mm -hmm. we do have uh, master model builders, and their job is to get paid to play. So we have several in the U.S. and Connecticut, where our headquarters are. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some in Europe. That model actually happened to be built in the Czech Republic. We have a large model building facility there. So. It was built over there, shipped over here, and set up in Times Square. Yeah, and and I understand that that's they're not individual bricks like that fall apart, right? Don't they like attach them together? Well, they're all like individual they, bricks, yes, but they're glued, and they're glued like together. Glued together. So yeah. yeah. So <laughs> any Lego model that you see yeah. is standard pieces. We don't cheat. We don't cut them. Yeah. Um, so conceivably, if you had that many bricks, anybody could build it. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, we're really excited to see what you do next because uh, as, as an adult fan of LEGO, yeah. I really appreciate the product, but it's, it's cool to, to see you when you're at events, and uh, thanks for talking to us today. It's my pleasure. Thanks yeah, for having nice me. Nice to see you. Yeah. Thank you.